boys and girls, I have a story for you today called The Two Carolines. Caroline was a very nice little girl in many ways. She had pretty hair and big blue eyes. And when she was all dressed for school in her navy blue uniform, you would have thought to look at her that there wasn't a nicer little girl in all the world. But there were two Carolines. One was the home Caroline and the other was the school Caroline. The home Caroline was left on the doorstep every morning and picked up every dinner time when the school Caroline came back. Now the home Caroline was a cross, pouty, grumbly, growly and disobedient Caroline, quite unlike the Caroline that everybody saw outside and thought was such a nice little girl. Mum was worried almost to tears over her two Carolines. What could she do? She thought it over and devised a plan. Now Caroline loved her school teacher very much. Indeed, by the way she acted, it seemed as if she loved her teacher more than she did even her own mum. She would take flowers and other pretty things to show her her affection. And of course, teacher, seeing only the school Caroline, thought she must always be a very good little girl indeed. One day, the school Caroline came home and changed suddenly on the doorstep, as usual, into the home Caroline. Mum called to her as she came in. Will you please go round to the grocery store and buy some groceries? No, I don't want to. I'm tired, snapped the home Caroline. However, she finally decided to go under protest. While she was gone, a visitor came to see Mrs Herman and being shown into the living room, sat down in the corner out of sight. Caroline returned. Here are old things, she said, throwing them down on the floor. Now I'm going to go out and play. But Mum's tired. Wouldn't you like to help her finish her work? No, I don't want to. Well, please lay the table for dinner. Don't want to. But you must do something to help, Mum. Please lay the table, Caroline. Oh, I hate laying the table, said Caroline, slamming the door and putting on a pout that would almost frighten anyone. Pulling out the tablecloth from the drawer with many a grumbling, she spread it out in a rough and tumble sort of way. Then she brought out the knives and forks scattering them among the few dishes and prepared to walk off. Mum looked disappointed, but she didn't say anything until Caroline was about to go. Then she said, Caroline, we are having a visitor to tea tonight. In fact, you might want to call her now. She's in the living room. Caroline's face paled. Looking round, she noticed that the living room door was open. But, um, but Mum... <clears throat> her, her tone had suddenly changed. The table isn't set for visitors. No, but it's set for Mum. Uh, but Mum, I, I'd like to arrange it better. It's too late now. We must not keep our visitor waiting. Please call her in. Very pale and trembling a little, Caroline went into the living room. M Mum said, will you please? She stopped. It was her teacher. Oh, Teacher, have you heard all that I've been saying? Oh dear, 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 cried Caroline, bursting into tears. I am sorry my little Caroline is not the same at home as she is at school, said Teacher. Oh, I'm so sorry, wept Caroline. I won't ever be naughty again. And really, to tell you the truth, she never was. For always after that, she could never feel quite sure that there was not someone listening to her in the next room. Mum told her too that Jesus is the unseen guest at every meal and the silent listener to every conversation. <laughs>